continue to celebrate Women's History Month. This Sunday, the Baltimore Museum of Art opening a major retrospective of the work of legendary artist Joyce J. Scott. Stefan Dingle has a sneak peek ahead of its opening. You can't be confounded by your gender or by your ethnicity or your age or supposed disability. In all of her vibrancy, wisdom, and womanhood, Joyce J. Scott in her work is an embodiment of the experience of black women. I'm hoping that people walk away with the knowledge that this life affords you everything if you're courageous enough to go after it. Her exhibit, Walk a Mile in My Dreams, is a 50-year retrospective of nearly 140 objects, including quilts, textiles, bead and glass sculptures, performance footage, and even jewelry. Walking a mile in my dreams is following through and having new dreams. It's never to be so suppressed in what I do that there's not something wonderful and popping out that I'm so hungry for that I'm running after it. Getting over and through that fear of being yourself, it's like, that's, that's a day-to-day -day thing. On an exclusive tour for guests like Aya Dixon, The Wisdom of Womanhood by Joyce J. Scott was profoundly impactful to those who held on to every word of her empowerment. The best way that I can be of an asset to my community is to be 100% authentic to who I am and leaning into that. And I'm literally getting that in return and it's like a reciprocal exchange of energy. An energy that even in the midst of this vibrant work that empowers the strength and tenacity of women, Joyce J. Scott says the charge is not only for women but for all of the human race. We are partnered with men so we must work together to make this difference so young girls will have a better chance and young boys will also. They will be united in power instead of separate. Words that her mother, Elizabeth T. Scott, whose exhibit is already on display at the same museum, would surely be proud of. Empowering everyone to lean into their dreams through their lived experience and never settling, but instead dreaming bigger. That's the thing about being in love with what you do. You go after the next thing, you're not scared of it. And if you're scared, then you work through your fears. Because what it offers to you is so magnanimous. Look at me. Proudly, boldly walking a mile in her dreams. I'm Stefan Dingle for WJZ.